everybody welcome back um, last time we were out here in the shop we worked on that uh, Ryder Erickson engine I'll put a link to it up there but you know, we disabled this one simply by applying oil in the wrong areas so if you guys were worried about the uh, well how well this thing is now and uh, well it's health and safety and whatnot let's put some fuel in here we'll fire back up for fuel, we're just using denatured alcohol. We'll fill this little well up a little bit. We don't want to overfill it. And uh, we'll get our wick put back in here. We'll set fire to it. And uh, give this a little bit of time for it to soak up some fuel. Okay, well we've got about 30 seconds. And we've got a nice flame. So, if you guys were concerned about me ruining this, this was just to say and show you guys. You know, oil back here, great. It needs it. But up here, no. You want to leave those dry. And right here, it would take some very light oil on this side. But you don't want to put, you know motor oil or anything like that because it'll get in here and it's going to transfer over it's eventually going to land over here on this side and it's just just not a good idea and if you guys happen to find one say at an estate sale or garage sale or you know buy it online and you turn it over and it's stiff odds are somebody has oiled this and they gave up because no matter how big of a fire you build under here that's it I mean it's it's not gonna run anymore so we'll give this a little bit longer to warm up and uh, we can try it but well there it's still happy healthy and safe so there you go it still runs so you don't have to worry about me being vicious and being an engine killer this was just to show you guys that Oil up here, not good. Oil back here, very good. So, yep, it's alive and well, and it runs just fine. So, yeah. Okay, you guys want to see what this video is about? Let's blow this out. We'll get started on our video. Well, it's been a while since we've ran a live steam engine on here so let's get one out you guys see it okay this is a a really really nice assembly these come from this one came from sterling kit and uh yeah it's an amazing little engine Twin cylinder, double acting, boiler with superheated steam. We have our condensing tank. We have, well, right in here. We've got a displacement oiler. And we've got our throttle here for RC use if one wanted to use it in the boat. And right here, we have our steam control to our live steam. So, safety valve up front here. We have our sight glass with a blowdown. This runs on butane gas. It comes with this really nice little tank and uh, refillable. So, all right. Well, let's get our fuel supply hooked up and we'll get a discharge coming out of our tank over to our exhaust and go through oil this up fill the boiler and well, let's run this guy tonight so let me start getting some things hooked up okay we've got our fuel tank plumbed up here to our burner and uh, for an exhaust well hey you guys have seen this here before right We've got an empty one here. I don't know how they ever get empty. We're gonna use that there just to catch it. So 
we'll thread that in. We've already filled this up. So next, what we're going to do is we're going to use this included wrench, remove our fill port. We're going to fill our boiler with distilled water and uh, start oiling up our engine. Well, we've got our boiler, well, we've got two-thirds of a glass of water up here on our sight glass. We're going to go ahead and reinstall our filler plug. One thing that would be nice, and I'm sure that we can always add it, it would be nice to add an injector pump so we can add to this while we're under pressure. So our fuel tank is full now. Our boiler is full. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys that displacer lubricator. So you can see that yes, it does have oil in it. I don't know if you guys saw it or not. And you can't use motor oil in that. This is that really thick steam oil. So we're going to go ahead and tighten that down. Let's go ahead and light the fire in our boiler here. And uh, while it's sitting here just warming up, we're going to go through and oil all this. Turn our fuel on. It lit very easily. Keep our fuel pinch back. They do make this model with a, uh, a steam pressure regulator. I guess I should have bought that one. But, well, hey. Here, this is what we got. So while this is sitting here, slowly warming up, you guys can keep an eye on that gauge. We're going to go through and we're going to oil everything up on here. We're going to oil our main bearings. They provide very nice oil cups for the mains. Oil up our valve change gear because this is reversible, guys. Did you see that? Pretty nice. Oil up all of our valve linkage. I should have started a timer to see how long it takes to build steam, but I guess that's going to vary. How hard do you want to fire your boiler, guys? And we're starting with room temperature water, and right now here in the shop it's 67 degrees, so it shouldn't take terribly long. Oiler eccentric straps. This is a pretty nice engine for being built completely out of brass. It's it's a fairly heavy model. It comes, you know, everything you see from here up. I mounted it to this wooden base. And, uh, well, I guess all we got to do now is wait, guys. We'll let it get warm a little bit. Then we'll open this valve. We'll give it some more fire in its belly. Oh, well. By the way, it doesn't come with a 40 to 1 fuel tank. Let's let it get warm. Well, it's been a couple minutes, guys. You guys can hear our safety valve. What do you guys think? Should we open it up a little bit? if it shows up to you guys or not but I can see some steam coming from our safety valve usually they don't like to talk very loud but I'm not sure how loud this burner is so I guess I will speak up a little bit so our pressure gauge has started to move and it looks like we've got about mm, seven pounds of steam Coming up on 10, let's go ahead and open this up. So now we've introduced steam from our boiler through our superheater. So we've got that open. Let's 
see if we have anything down here on this end. Oh, we do have movement. Well, it's it's ticking over by itself, guys. Obviously, it's self-starting. Let me pull you guys in a little bit closer. Okay, see it starting to take off. These do not have drain cocks to open. And it's, you know, kind of chunky when it's turning over. We very well possibly could have a little bit of water in our cylinders. That superheater will take over here soon. We're showing about 15 pounds on our boiler. Now, there you go, it's cleared out. Very quiet running engine. Very smooth. So we've got the valve up here on our turret wide open. What have we got for forward and reverse? throttle valve back here and no obviously it's not self-starting I say that now and that tells me otherwise Turn our burner up a little bit more and see what we've got. See my finger up here? I'm going to play with this throttle valve, which would be for radio control use. And it can be slowed way down. Let's change the direction. So maybe it is self starting, we just didn't have enough on our clock yet. This is a really nice little engine guys, honestly. Let me pull you guys back out and get a little bit better overview. Look at that guys, we have a live steam plant. This is, let me see how big my hand is. This would be perfect for a model boat. We have our throttle control, forward and reverse. It does change direction. It is self-starting, obviously. What a great little toy. What do you th I don't know guys, what do you think we should do with this? I mean, we're uh, sitting here burning off of this butane tank. 
and we're holding well, just under 20 psi and we don't even have it wide open yet we can crank it up we could build more steam if we need to but this is a pretty strong little engine it is double acting twin cylinder so all right guys well i guess this was also a short one but if you guys were thinking about building a model boat or whatever i guess we could use this engine and well if we wanted to build a steam plant we could have this run a generator whatever but yeah and if nothing else well hey out of the top of here we have nothing but steam vapor so hey what a fancy way to introduce moisture into your shop in the winter months and it's fun you got moving parts and fire and steam what's not great to love about this hey if you guys were thinking about buying a steam plant just something small like this check out sterling kit and uh well, you guys can use steam 212 on checkout it'll save you 10 percent. so hey i appreciate it guys you guys really truly are fantastic I don't know why a lot of you guys have stuck around watching me, you know, out here in the shop. But I'll tell you what, guys, I really, truly am grateful. And uh, thank you so much. So, all right. What do you think we ought to do with this? Let me know. Leave me a comment underneath. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in a couple days.